Finally, it's happy back to squash week for all the squash fans out there. Here's a few solo practice ideas just to get you started again. Always start with straight drives on both sides. I do about 10 minutes, maybe five minutes each side. After 10 minutes, I like to do drives and long drops. Trying to keep the drives as tight as you can to the wall. And the same with the drops, to keep them tight. No fancy swings, simple is accurate and effective. Volleys and volley drops is always a go-to for me. It's great for building control and it's fun. And while I'm in the front of the court, I like to throw in this nice quick hand routine. before throwing in a few more volley drops, trying to hit some satisfying mix. And then onto the forehand volley. Notice I'm not aiming too low. The main objective here, after such a long time away from the court, is just to get the ball up. Another great routine for control is the figure of eight. However competent you are at this exercise, Maybe after 10 or 20 shots, it's always nice to finish with a volley drop or even a cross court nick. Don't do figure of eights too long though, because you will get a sore arm, especially after four months off. Then it's nice to finish on a few touch drop shots, trying to get one or two rolling out the nick. before we put the racket down and we do some light ghosting. Remember, this is our first time back on court for four months, so let's not overdo it. Here, I'm just doing a 16 ghost set. Not pushing myself too much, just to remind my legs of the movement patterns and getting used to the size of a squash court again. We'll be back soon with more videos. Happy squashing.